All right, guys, after CCW here, I'm going to set you down. And I just want to ask a question real quick, basically. All I want to know is what makes this gun right here more of an assault weapon than this. All right, let's talk about it for a second, just, just a little bit. This right here is a Ruger 1022 all-weather model with a 16-inch barrel, um, black synthetic stock, all-weather stock, uh, push-button safety, you know, standard Ruger stuff, uh, Bushnell scope, uh, 3 to 9 by 40, I think, something like that. Um, it's got a Ramline 50 round magazine that doesn't even work anymore because it's a piece of garbage. And, uh, yeah, it's got a threaded barrel too on it. And that's there to protect the threads. And, uh, also, this looks kind of cool. That's why we leave it on there. Anyways, this gun right now is pretty much considered an assault weapon according to an assault weapons ban because of this right here, this Ramline 50 round magazine <clears throat> alright, let's take a look at the other gun we got this is my 9130 Mosin Nagant <coughs> anybody happen to know how many people the Mosin Nagant killed in World War II? I know that there was one guy that had a PU sniper model, killed like 70 people with one. He had like 70 confirmed kills, probably even like probably over a hundred of the ones that weren't confirmed, but he probably did kill. <laughs> I don't remember his name. But a Russian sniper in World War II killed at least 70 people with this thing. Uh, but this isn't an assault rifle. Nope. You know why? It can only hold five of these. This this isn't that big of a deal, right? Especially if there's only five. What are you going to do with five of these? What are you going to do with five of these? You could kill five people, probably ten if you line them up right. More than that if you line, it up, line them up even more right. Heck, you could take this gun, swing it like a bat. You could kill even more people with this thing. Even with the bayonet. One second, let me grab the bayonet. This thing actually would make it more like an assault weapon. Actually, I don't even know if this counts because it doesn't have a bayonet lug. But, throw this on the end of it. How many people were killed in bayonet charges? Yeah, this gun is totally okay to own. <clears throat> I believe you can own this gun in every state in America. Just because it only holds five rounds. Yeah, this gun has killed millions of people, I'm sure. But no big deal, because it only holds five rounds. I mean, I know peop lots of people have probably been killed by 1022s, but it's not a military's primary weapon. It definitely wasn't designed to kill people. People remake them, not remake them, but they'll modify them to kill people. <sighs> probably throw in the BX-25 magazines, cut the barrel down to like, t like 12 inches, throw a suppressor on there to make it back up to 16 inches, and then you got a little... Little gun, probably a, like a folding stock on there. You got a little uh, personal defense weapon, a little personal defense carbine. I believe the Israel, Israeli special forces modify these and use them, use them just like that. They'll modify them to fully automatic. Throw in a like BX25 magazine, Ruger magazine. Probably like a red dot sight or something like that. Folding stock, shortened barrel with a suppressor, and 
they use that a lot because it's such an effective way to kill people. Yet if I take this out and throw this in there. <coughs> That's only 10 rounds. Oh, okay, you can have this anywhere in America. Nothing wrong with that, nothing wrong with that at all. Even though it's got that evil black tactical stock. <laughs> but for some reason this is okay, totally okay. Even though, I mean, it holds 10 rounds, so it's perfectly fine. Uh, it doesn't have a magazine disconnect safety, which I enjoy. I hate magazine disconnect safeties. They're kind of pointless in my opinion. I mean, I understand their purpose, but I don't... I, I, there's better ways to deal with it than magazine disconnect safety. Because I find magazine disconnect safeties to be dangerous. But... Either way, cause it, either way, uh, I don't know, this gun is totally okay to own in every state right now, but I push a button, put this in, suddenly it's illegal in California. And a couple other states, I think it's like New Jersey and like Connecticut or something like that. I don't remember. Where'd that go? It's amazing how just that one little makes it all the difference going from standard capacity to high capacity. Now, that's the thing though, what's standard capacity? I don't know why they're saying it's 10 rounds, because there have been a lot more guns that were made way before assault weapons bans, that standard capacity was not 10 rounds. There's guns that they make now that have a standard capacity of 200 rounds. Somebody throw a guess out there? <laughs> yeah, light machine guns of sorts, not many people own those, so... I guess uh, we can throw that off the list. There's guns that come standard capacity 50 rounds. P90. <laughs> There's guns that I've seen that come with standard capacity of 40 rounds, like RPKs. 30 rounds, like AKs and ARs of all sorts. 20 rounds, like AR-10s. And, uh, I'm trying to think, like FALs, other type of, like, 308 rifle, 308 military rifles, a lot of them have a standard capacity of 20 rounds. Yet, for some reason, they insist that standard capacity is 10 rounds. And I'm trying to think, what, where was the standard capacity only 10 rounds? When did, who decided that? I'm not sure who decided it. All I know is that anything that is made for the gun should probably be legal for that gun if it's manufactured, especially if it's manufactured by the person who made the gun. Like, it seems like that would be just the way to go. It's like, if that's a factory magazine, just like the Ruger BX-25 magazines, they make those now, made them, they make them specifically because people wanted a higher capacity magazine that would actually, that would function good. So now Ruger makes that. I don't think it's standard in any other models yet, or I don't know if it ever will be. They'll probably just keep going with these so that anyone can buy them. But still, I don't see what's so bad about having 25 instead of 10 of these. What are you going to do? It's like, oh, you have 25 rounds, you're looking to kill somebody, obviously. You have 10 rounds? No, no big deal. I don't know about you, I could put this in the magazine right now and kill any one person that I wished. If I wanted to, I don't want to though, obviously. But if I needed to kill somebody right now, and this was the only gun I had near me, I could throw in one round and kill the person that I needed to kill. If somebody broke into my house or something, I could do it. It would only take one if you shoot right. It doesn't take. 25 to kill somebody. You don't need that magazine capacity to do what you need to get done. That's why it comes in. It's like, why ban them if they're, they're not even necessary to make the gun effective? It's pointless to ban them. <laughs> the, only, like, the only reason that I want to even buy high capacity magazines is because it's more fun to shoot. Because I hate sitting there with this gun. I'm just going 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Oh, got to reload. Take out my magazine. And then just put in round after round. 
Okay, cool. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. It's just not fun. It gets boring after a while because you have to reload twice as much as you get to shoe. Whereas if you had something like this, and you brought like a 500 round box of ammo, you'd have to reload 10 times and you'd shoot 500 rounds. That would be incredibly fun. Like, <clears throat> that would be like, I mean, you only have to reload 10 times when you're shooting 500 rounds. You, you just get a lot of fun out of it. You don't have to sit there and go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, okay. And reload for 20 rounds worth of shooting. Now, you just get to keep on going. You just keep shooting. And it's going to be so much more fun. Yet, for some reason, they don't want us to be able to have fun with our big magazines. I don't know. Have a discussion in the comments below or something. I don't know. I'd like to hear both sides of an argument. It's always interesting to see. Anyways, I'm tired of making this video multiple, multiple times. What the heck? My phone's beeping at me. Alright. I'll see you guys later. That was my phone going 15% battery. I'm glad that was really loud and obnoxious. I'll put an annotation telling you to turn down your volume. I am so sorry. Anyways, guys, this has been After CCW, and I'm out of here.